What's up? What's up? Just a quick sound check before I begin anything. Hello, hello, hello. Check, check, check. Seems fine. So, I hope there's no background noise. It's quite noisy outside of my room. My cat's going wild and my family is trying to comfort him. Oh, here he comes. Why are you in my seat here? No, for real, why are you in my seat? I don't remember inviting you here. I, okay, okay, enough, enough, no, do not scratch my chair, new chair, off you go, <laughs> let go, The bastard got in my chair, pulled off the towel and farted in my face. Oh god, that's rancid. Absolutely rancid. Oh yeah, he can look cute until he farts in your fucking face. Ugh, yuck. Anyway, today we're playing Vertigo. Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo. Really excited for this one. Uh, I don't know anything about the game or the movie that it's based on, so I'm going in blind. Oh uh, yeah, it should be fun. Let me just turn off the music. We don't need uh, lo-fi chill music for a mystery game. So, before I start, I want to just check the settings. I don't want to be playing on a super high setting that lag out my game i don't want vertical sync everything can stay on low sure i don't really care um full, full screen window uh how about full screen can i apply this hopefully that didn't break the game uh yeah it looks okay gameplay i'm gonna um, let's see audio language i do want subtitle so yes apply cool now that i've sorted that out i think we're ready to start i might have to move my camera but uh, i won't really know until i start the game so let's begin Ah, yeah, I don't really care. Gotcha. Anyway, hi Akshaya, what were you doing? I started studying what did you do? Let's still have to start. Why have you started already? Okay, God damn it. Slide one. <laughs> fair, fair. Well, at least we got the slide one. I don't even know where, it, where the PPT is saved anymore. So. Up. Add a little too much to drink, perhaps. 
No, this way was than a drinking problem. Something bad has happened here. My spidey senses are tingling. Oh shit, where's my card? I think we're gonna have a flashback right about now. Bro is walking at a steep angle. Where am I? Why am I out in the mountains? Okay. Brody Canyon Bridge. No, don't do it. Dad? Dad? Hello? What the fuck is he doing? So we had a car crash. Okay, I gotta run. I gotta run. Run. Oh my god. Dad! Look at his expression. Dude, you suck at running. I know you just had a traumatic experience, but what the fuck are you doing? No! I failed! No! <laughs> Shit! Oh no, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, get close without noticing? Run to him, obviously. No, don't do it. No, dad! What the fuck is happening? Oh shit, that's messed up. My car. Jenny. Is that the car's name or was there somewhere someone in the car? Okay, sorry. Maybe we shouldn't be making jokes right now. Bro, why are my eyes so fucking big? No, 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 no. We don't need to join them. Hello. Hello. This, this is poor problem solving. Don't do it. The fuck? <laughs> I can just choose to die. <laughs> Let's live. I want to see how the story goes. Come on, dude. That's it. Okay, the game's getting stuck in this so often. It's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, wait, what? The fuck? Let Where did you come from? Let go of me! They're in the car! Jenny! I killed my family! Faye! I'm. I'm like my dad! Let me go! I'm like him! What do you mean? What does that mean? Damn. Okay, first off, yeah, that's tragic and all, but why is your first reaction to just jump off the bridge and join them? Come on, bruh. Also, I chose to live. So why did the trucker dude have to come save me? I was gonna get off anyway. I hope the stutter uh, calms down. I wouldn't want that to ruin a climatic experience. Is it an MCU movie? <laughs> Down bad patrol, anyone? Give up already. 
She's just not into you, my dude. Oh wait. Talk to Lomas, okay? Why is she smiling? <laughs> Oh good, she's finishing the movie. I was worried she's gonna get up in the middle of the movie. That would be really shitty, okay? Ah! Is that the dude who texted me? Did he text me from three rows behind me? Really? Why is everyone in this show in this game so down bad? Yikes, my dude, yikes. What the fuck was that? Okay, so... Not much has happened, let me give you a brief recap. We woke up all knocked out and disoriented at the side of a ca canyon. Saw skid marks, inferred that our car has gone down the canyon. Then we saw our dad trying to kill himself by jumping off a bridge that was going over the canyon. So we tried to run to him and save him, but we couldn't, he jumped off. And then we decided that, uh, fuck it, I'll jump too. But then our trucker dude came and saved us and called someone. Then we cut to this lady in the movies who is a doctor of some sort and she got a text from one down bad dude and another down bad dude that's it that's pretty much what has happened so far hi sweetie thanks for getting back to me so quickly it's about an old client a friend from oh, she's a therapist or something ed miller he claims it's his fault that his daughter and her mother are dead he was driving when their car went off a cliff yeah that kind of makes it his fault to kill but, uh, himself been in the hospital for a week. He can't get out of bed. Oh yeah, this is the bridge where it happened. Also, where is it started? I think. Oh, and he was dehydrated. Probably because of um, alcohol. So we were drunk driving. If you could, I would take care of everything. Travel expenses, hotel, Robert, whatever you need. I think I remember this Ed Miller, the writer, the one it all started with. Guess okay, so the writer. I feel like Jack's writer. That's cool. I'm loving the soundtrack so far. I love these Hitchcock style uh, um, orchestral compositions. I think they go, they work so well with murder mysteries and shit like that. You don't hear them as often anymore. Also, what's up, Patty? How's your day been? Gotta say that sub badge looks nice next to your name. <laughs> Took quite some time uh, making those, and uh, really nice to see them actually appear how are you doing apparently actually i already started studying java like what the fuck have you you better not have cringe yeah exactly exactly my thoughts good I downloaded uh, three or four games today. You literally said you did. It said the chat logs are right there. Slide one counts as having started. Anyway, today I downloaded four games. Uh, Breath of the Wild. This one, Vertigo. Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo. Um, something called Haven. It looks pretty nice. The art style is pretty cool. And uh, what else? Oh yeah. Fucking okay, needy streamer overload. <laughs> That should be fun because it's like a meta concept. 
You opened slide one two minutes ago. That counts as having started, Akshaya. Come on. Come on. Also, how long is this shit going to load? Jeez. Might as well switch to this screen while it's loading. I'll give you all a taste of my face. Oh, never mind. Apparently. My hotkeys don't work inside of the game. That sucks. So yeah, opening slide one bounces having started. So no excuses on that end. Oh shit, 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 shit. Wanna switch back to gameplay. Or you'll miss something. Yes, it does. Oh, come on. Don't be desperate. Claire Miller, I'm Dr. Lomas. Robert Kerrigan asked, Doctor, you have no idea how grateful I am to you for bringing Ed home. Um. It's a long drive from LA. I didn't say anything. When will Next. you get here? I forgot to put in the input. If all goes well, early tomorrow morning. I want to get started with that immediately. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, so the black lady is a therapist, looks like. And the old lady that was seeing her in, I don't really know. Some sort of doctor, I guess. The ambience is ominous, for sure. And it was quite the dramatic start to the story. Like I said, I haven't really watched the movie Vertigo, the original that is based on, so I don't know what happens. But from what I understand, the game doesn't really follow the exact same story. It's more of a inspired take than a, an adaptation. So, let's see. Give me a second. Why I have a chance, I'm going to... Uh, to check what I can do to reduce the stutter a little bit. Um, turn the quality very low. These all go to low. Disabled or oh, disabled volumetric fog. Don't need it. So maybe I should just reduce the resolution a little bit. Can I even reduce the resolution any more than this? Oh yeah, I can. Cool. Let's do that. Let's make it 720p. That should be enough. Because I'm streaming at 720p anyway. And it doesn't look like I can change anything else apart from that. Hopefully it doesn't start too much. Let's see. Alright, as I said, that is fine. <laughs> A pleasure meeting you, Ed. I'm Dr. Lomas. Hi, Dr. Lomas. Doctor in what exactly? Doctor. <laughs> Why is he so condescending? I'm gonna keep holding my hand out, my dude. <laughs> I'm gonna make it too awkward for you to refuse. Bachelor's in Psychology from UC Berkeley. Master's in... <clears throat> Systemic and family psychotherapy from the University why, of Michigan. Why, Robert? And why? <laughs> doctorate in clinical psychology from Stanford. Okay, so your average condescending dick writer, I guess. <laughs> why? Hmm. I'll give you free reign. Over my memories, my trauma, my room, my troubles. You got one hour. One. Okay. I guess I won't have to stream for too long. That works for me. Break edge reductance. Okay. Let's just be professional about it. Uh, let's look around the room a little bit. What's that? Slippers? 
That's a question about water. The far from the bed. Yeah. Those slippers are a little far from the bed, aren't they? Very subtle, Doctor. If I had this kind of hey, vertigo and with no other choice but to walk, I'd prefer the cold floor too. Cool man, get yourself some dinner. Bedside table, let's see. No books, no remote, no tablet, no phone. How does he spend his time? By being a dick, apparently. <laughs> You're another bottle. Few factors can shatter self esteem like a lack of full autonomy regarding one's excretory system. No wonder Ed is in this state. Sorry to insist, Dr. Leonard, but the patient's dizziness, nausea, you can anxiety nice. are triggered by what exactly? Anything, even just taking a few steps. Okay, so he has such extreme vertigo that he the can't even take a ticking, few steps. ticking, Doctor. Yeah, I know, my dude. Relax. I'm gonna ask you about your fucking piss bottle. Chill. About that. Straight to my troubles, huh? With all of those degrees, I'd have expected <laughs> a little more... psychology? Nobody's my wiping my ass, if that's what you mean. I'll take nauseated over nauseous any day. Game looks weird? Yeah, sure. The art style is a little different. Weird. Okay. You know what? Let's begin therapy. Should we get started? Tick tock, doctor. Tick tock, more like. Okay, why does Robert want me to see you? Why do you think Robert Kerrigan asked me to see you? Because he's loaded, feels guilty, is simply bored. I thought you were friends. What difference does that make? How do you feel right now? Pretty fucking <laughs> shitty. Like when some idiot comes and pours salt on your wound. Hmm? If you're only going to give me an hour, it could at least be a fruitful one. Shitty. <laughs> Good answer. Thank you for that. Why? Why? Go on. Because I lost a daughter? Because I killed two people? Because everyone treats me like I'm crazy? Because I pee in a bottle from a dally painting? Because everything is surreal? Because... Because of you. Ah, good. Does shitty work or do you want me to keep going? Uh, yes. Everything's going to be all right, Ed. Who gave you your title? You can't anymore? Dr. Seuss? Why? You say it's your fault that your daughter and her mother died? And you don't want to believe me. <laughs> of course. There aren't no, any I believe you. I saw what happened. You to a daughter. <sighs> I hadn't acknowledged paternity yet. Everything happened so fast. Hmm, sad. Convince me that this woman Faye exists. What do you want to know? What do you want to tell me? <laughs> it was about a year ago. Okay, we're finally getting into it. So right now we haven't seen a woman, so we don't know if his wife and daughter exist. At least officially. I think is what the premise is. But uh, let's see. I only know as much as the lady does. Two women don't exist. <laughs> Not on the internet, they don't. It's very true, very true. Hold on, let me just do something real quick. Also, KP, what did you mean you can't run ads anymore? Let's change.
Quick actions have blocked out. Blacked out. You don't know why? Yeah, I don't know why either. <sighs> I just sat down to work. I'd had writer's block for years. But I remembered something I'd made up in an interview. Okay, so and here today to talk about how to revive your creativity is Ed Miller, author of Face to the Ground, our book recommendation of the month. Ed, can I call you Ed? Welcome and congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Though I wasn't too sure you took bribes. Pretty good caviar, right? <laughs> Just to be clear, you're joking here. Remember, you're on public radio. No, definitely not joking. <laughs> Even better, no one's listening. <laughs> all right, <Yikes>. all right. <laughs> so, Ed, have you ever experienced blank page syndrome? Sure thing, look at this. And uh, how do you deal with it? I do a kind of, I don't know, warm up. If the mind doesn't want to start, then we have to ask the inside body. Of his head right now? So I let my eyes search for a starting point. Hey, okay. Birds. Uh, wait, let's see what other options we have. We have fucking tree. That's kind of boring. Birds are better, in my opinion. Let's just go with birds. When my eyes find the word, then it's my fingers turn. I let them write whatever they want after that word. The trick is not to think. Let them be free. Okay. Bird boob. Dick balls. <laughs> I don't know. Bird sadness. The trick to being a good writer is to always talk about depression and sadness. Hopelessness, yes. See, we're building a foundation. It's the foundation to all of the arts. Overwhelmed, yeah, sure. Ah, good to hear, KP. Good to hear. There was too much. Even when the bomb showed up, you were able to show compassion. Eh, that's pretty good. I did that by pressing four buttons. Be impressed. That is one ugly sounding cat, my dude. Cool, cool. Get your dinner, man. I thought you had already. Come on, bro. Feed your cat. It's sad. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> Come on, Ed, feed the fucking cat. <sighs> Remember, the cat owns you, you don't own him. Really? Come on, again with the stutter, stutter. Okay, then. Why this charging station? What do I do with that? I guess check my phone. Hi. Any host calling? Get oh, apparently calling. there are. I bet you don't even know how I got your number. The thing is, I'd like to see you again. I oh, definitely I don't. I think I lost an earring. If you. Bruh. Dinging out someone's number that they didn't give you. Creepy. Okay, I don't want to stick around here too long because I want to feed the cat. But uh, let's just see what else there is here. What's he have? The Jungle Book? The Miserable? Great Cat Sweep, Pride and Prejudice. These are like basic ass books. Good books, sure, but... Uh, Why am I looking at my chair right now? I don't wanna sit down. I'm coming, kitty. How do I open this door? Do I just walk through it? Never mind, I guess I gotta go downstairs. 
Oh. Miau. <laughs> that is an ugly meow. <laughs> Please never do impressions. I'm not gonna pretend I don't do that as well, but yikes! That was a coarse meow. Bruh, three bits of food, really? I'm coming, Samuel. The fuck Please, is with the open music? the door. Um, no, I'm gonna feed the cat first. Fuck it. I don't care that there's a woman in this chest out there. I need to feed the cat. I have my priorities sorted, guys. Come on. Don't lie. You do the same thing in my in my position. Except KP, maybe he's desperate to talk to the women. But yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh. Hi. Okay, so you hurt it your hurts. ankle. Damn, that's sad. Uh. We'll have to amputate. There should be a saw around here somewhere. Help yourself. Seriously? <laughs> no, just kidding. Exactly. Can you help me? My battery's dead and there are no other houses nearby. God, this guy's humor is so <laughs> douchey. I'm no doctor, but that looks really bad. Uh, I'm not calling an ambulance. I'm kind of in the middle of something, but let me call you an ambulance. No, don't. Okay, why not? I'm between jobs, no insurance, no money. I need to lie down, please. Okay. But... Okay. Well, come in. Let's take a look at it. If you bleed to death, you mop it up. I think that's fair. I think that's pretty fair, yeah. Why did it start raining so much? I don't get it. Can I lean on you? Um, maybe you should ask before you actually lean on the person. Or that Ow, cat oh. something's up. Uh, hold on, slower. Okay, slow. No, uh, hold on. Um, Not so fast. Don't take this the wrong way, but this would be faster if I carried you. Uh, I can walk. Just don't go so fast. Okay, my dude. Take uh, your time, ow. I guess. Uh, fine. Carry me. Women, am I right? Okay. Please don't clip that. Uh, I was joking. Please. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> grab you here, okay? And here. And lift you up. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Can I lean on you? All That's right, okay with here we me. go. All oh. right. <laughs> she already asked me that. I think that was a messed up voice line. It wasn't hey, supposed to play. Am that. I that heavy? Sex is a bug. <laughs> taking your backpack off. Okay. I'm going to let you go. Hold on, hold on. Let me take my backpack off. <laughs> now? Actually, you want my back to hurt well. too? Nice. Mine already does. <laughs> Alright. May I? You may. Do I? Please do. Alright. Oh. Phew. Finally. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to go right. <laughs> Right after this injury, are you good? Comfortable? Hmm. As comfortable as I can be, I guess. Thanks. Um, what did you say your name was? Ed. My name is Ed. Got your water Thanks, and dinner. Ed. Let's go. Speaking of water, I should drink some. Hey, huh? That's Kratos' wife's name. If you could bring me some ice. Hmm. <laughs> Hand me your phone and I'll charge it for you. What? It's no problem at all. What? She just asked for ice. Okay, so in the review I saw of this game, I they did say that some voice lines play out of place. Outside the force park entrance. Sorry, it is a little janky. I'll but, uh, go over there and let you be once the swelling goes down. What kind of conversation is this? All right. 
This is my last two brain cells communicating. Okay, so I need to... Right. I need to bring her eyes and charge her phone. I know where the phone charger is, so... I can do that. And, uh, where's the kitchen? There we go. Bad porno dialogue. <laughs> yeah, true. The reviews did say that it happens, but uh, hopefully not so often that it, the entire game is ruined. The thing that's really annoying me though is the fucking uh, frame. Oh, all right. If you can bring me some ice. Why is he so pissed off about it? Yeah, I can. Wait. Gently. Oh. oh I should have to change Perfect. these Steam Labs messages, man. They're so outdated. Okay. Uh, does it hurt? Does oh, it obviously. Hurt? It'll fall asleep with the ice. So will I. Don't let Faye get cold, bitch. She has an ice pack on her ankle. She's definitely cold. Maybe the girl waiting for the quick time events of that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, she's cold. Okay. Where do I get a blanket? Quick type events. <laughs> Bro, what are you staring at her for? Just give her the fucking blanket. Oh, now the cat wants it too. Bro, fuck off. One, there must come a time where one pussy takes precedence over the come other. On. Get off of there. Come on, come on, kitty. Move it. Move it. See, I, <laughs> oh my god, I just yeeted the cat. See, I did feed the cat before helping the woman in distress. So it's only fair if now I help the woman instead of the cat, right? Okay, I gotta charge her phone as well. I think the reason it was so weird is because she didn't mention at the door that her phone is out of charge. But it just played in such an out of place time, right? It did not work at all. Um, charge phase phone, yeah. Missed the cuddle option. <laughs> Let's take it one step at a time, Paco. One step at a time. Uh, now what do we do? Let's go see if we can, uh, I don't know, do the ice bucket challenge on her or some shit. Maybe we can pet the cat some more? Anything at all? You know what, I'm gonna reduce the res a little bit further to see if it helps at all. I don't know, it's kind of... I don't know how much the stream is being affected by it, but, uh... It is kind of irritating. The... Okay, that fucked it up completely. <laughs> I don't know what these aspect ratios are. I need to like, test them. Maybe I should just do it in full screen windowed. See if that helps. Because that was the original setting. Hmm, probably not. Let's be honest. Ah, uh, amazing. Three frame rate. Okay, so we can't uh, murder her in her sleep, unfortunately. I guess now's the time to <laughs> take a fat shit. Oops, wrong answer. What choice do we have? Do we have to like go back to writing? Can we not uh, do anything else? Like sit here and wait for her to wake up or some shit. Seems kind of mean to just go back to writing after what just happened. You also go to sleep maybe? Nah bro, I gotta overcome writer's block, see? Get back to work ASAP. I'm a busy busy man. Keep procrastinating. <laughs> Let's sit down to fuck. Let's not be too realistic with this game here, yeah? because I did enough of that today. 
don't need to be simulating procrastination in my stream as well. And if she dies in her sleep, so be it. I'm a busy man doing busy man things. I don't have time to watch over an unconscious woman. I just don't. Honestly, when I saw the system requirements for this game, which was, by the way, 2GB RAM, VRAM, I thought it'd be fine, but uh, apparently not. So I apologize if it's a little too janky. Let's see. Let's see how far we can get before it's uh, unbearable. Okay, I think I clicked the get back to work option, but uh, looks like he just procrastinated until night time anyway. So, uh, yay for choice, I guess. You there? Yep, I'm here. I'm up here. Upstairs. Oh, great. I thought you left. Oops. Hey, the ice worked. My ankle looks brand spanking new. Nice. That's yeah, good. you heal quickly. Always have. By the way, thanks for the blanket. Yeah, yeah. Least I could do. Oh, it was the least I could do. Didn't want you to freeze to death. Not possible. I never die. <sighs> Besides, I usually warm up fast. <sighs> So this Have guy just eaten? won't get off I'm his laptop with really. Uh, sure, I'll make you something. No, I'll order something. Let's play it safe. I can order something online. Something? My favorite. It's the local specialty. I ordered it yesterday. Same and money. the day before. <laughs> there might even be leftovers in the fridge. Something left over? Even better. I'll check the fridge. Don't order anything, okay? What do you mean, sex joke? <laughs> was there a sex joke? I missed it, if there was. Bruh, why is she walking? Jesus. Calm down, and why is she carrying her bag with her? Bruh, go help her up the stairs or something, dude. Hello? I'm going through a random person's fridge. I mean, she did just have like a 7 hour nap on my couch as well, so I think we're past that uh, boundary. Fear, let's go with fear. Some miss. <laughs> you know, you know, I have to go with some miss. No, I'm joking. I'm gonna go with uh, wounded. Scared? I already did fear, so not scared again. Wounded. Couch parry, couch, jeez. Rain in your vulgarity. Okay, this is some dark shit I'm writing. Um, devastated. Okay, that is dark. <laughs> oh. Someone get these writers therapy, man. I mean, technically we are in therapy right now, but, uh... Jeez. Someone looks pleased. Am I interrupting a special moment? Okay, why do you look like you're 20 but with an 80-year-old's hair? Explain uh -huh. that first and then I'll answer your question. How about that? Porn? Something left over? Porn. It's something... I'm writing. No, it's porn. Yeah, oh, you're right. you write? What do you write, Ed? Mostly dojins. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure yet. Honestly? I'm not sure yet. I'm not too sure where this is headed. Oh, poop us, well, Here you go, in case you get thirsty along the way. Did she just open my wine? My way of saying thank you. How are you thanking me by opening my own wine? Lady, you're nuts. This 
First of all, you said you're looking for leftovers in the fridge. Mm. Then you come up here, no leftovers in hand. I'm hungry as fuck, and you tell me you've opened my precious bottle of wine that I was saving for the birth of my firstborn. Ah, oh, God, women, they're incorrigible. I tell you. Hmm. May I ask where you carried this from? Your kitchen. I was looking for something left over in the cabinets, and you said the fridge. Why were you in my cabinets? You <laughs> did in my kitchen. You're lying. It was in your backpack. I was hoping you'd find it. Um. Fuck me. I don't know what to say. You're lying. I looked through your backpack while you were sleeping. And I trusted you. What else did you see in there? Oh, where did I actually? I don't really remember. Porn. Something left over. I was over. hoping you'd find it. No. Porn. You did. Let's not. No. Know. No. Or did you? <laughs> I didn't actually look. See, it worked out. <laughs> don't ask, KP. See, I know you've never witnessed. Or Anything been a part of a conversation between the Ask. two sexes. But you no. have until I finish this my glass. This is exactly how the it goes. The riskier the question, exactly. the bigger the sip. Yeah, she's definitely giving me hints right now. Uh, how old are you? <laughs> um, should I do that? Should I ask her how old she is? Oh no, let's just ask her what she's doing. What here. are you doing in Cerro Lake? Guess. I'm looking for someone. Who? I'm not sure yet, to be honest. So you just hmm, short sip. So what is this IRL Tinder or something? Short sip, dude. You finished the glass. Okay, never mind. There's still some. Um, <laughs> how old are you? I'm think so not about to ask the classic uh, <laughs> nice. work or study question. But uh, do you work or study? Neither. I just finished my degree. In. Psychology. Ugh. Oh God, a psychologist. Hmm. Short sip. So do I have to ask her how she is? All right, you've got one more. Make it. Job this woman, Ellen. <laughs> are you staying at a motel? What are you doing tonight? Do you want to spend the night? Do I do I go with the big question? I mean, I could always play it off saying, do your heart. So, let's let's do it. Do you feel like spending the night? But I just dematerialized for a minute. <laughs> oh no, she's mad. <laughs> that, that wine went into her chin, dude, not her mouth. Will you cover me up like last time? Or better, you have my word. Words. Now I get why you're so well spoken. <laughs> Let's not get too excited, Wolf, chat. Let's not Beers, get too excited. Splath, Poe, a host of tragic deaths. Should I be scared? Probably. This guy my is eighty percent a psycho. The son of the Black Corsair. The subtitle says red. Emilia Salgari, right? Mm-hmm. How did he die? Uh, suicide. Rip foreshadowing. I should be scared. Hey, look. One who's alive. I'm saved. Oh, that's my book. Do you like Ed Miller? Uh, do you not? You say it as if you didn't. Mm, it's not that. You know what? Me and that guy have history. Oh, huh. really? So, what kind of history? The bad kind. Oh. Hmm. 
just came back on my end and no cam. I mean, for the mo moment, it seems like it. Why, why do all writers live in a murder cabin in the woods anyway? Did he steal your files? <laughs> Wait, say no more. He stole your wine. <laughs> I wouldn't have let him. I was about 13? I was obsessed with this book. Well, the cheapo edition. I heard he was doing a book signing at Rossmore Books. I pretended I was sick to skip school, but my parents didn't buy it. I tried to leave during recess and got caught. Wait, she was 13 when I was already publishing school, this book? I ran so fast That's that kind of my weird chap. My ankle. But I made it. I got in line and waited. Yeah, exactly, and exactly. Waited. And when there were only three people left in front of me, kind of sus, my this dude. old guy Ayo? showed up. Ayo? His editor, I think. White hair, white suit. You still here? What about the radio interview? Am I gonna get in trouble for stealing this? away. The end. I never even saw his face. Getting grounded felt worse than the ankle, but not nearly as bad as the letdown. Oh boy. Anywho, 13 years old. Mad that she didn't get an autograph? Or she's gonna be madder? Uh... The cheapo edition you had didn't have a picture of Miller, did it? I'd remember. This edition does. Don't you want to see his face? Smooth. Yes. No. <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> no? Of course. The first thing you told me was your name was Ed. <laughs> this game name has cost me. I, I have to see this with my own. Oh, oh hey, shit. Tronius, what did I tell you, huh? Sorry, I hurt your uncle. It, it's fine, it's fine. I think he doesn't like me, is all. He doesn't like any girl. He's quite possessive. Oh, hey, that sounds so like do you get a lot of lady callers? Uh, dude, you're like half my age. Um, can you please leave? This is kind of weird, champ. Uh, just my neighbor, Mr. Franklin. Yeah, sure. That's Nobody good. comes here, except for my neighbor, Samuel Franklin. Only one pussy in this house. Oh, <laughs> should I lock the door and turn off the lights? Or would you rather I get another glass? <laughs> Uh, Insult cat based. Yep. <laughs> I'm 23 now. I'll never learn. Uh, okay, she's 23 now, guys. Relax. She's 23 now. And well, only 57. Do you remember the song that Buster sings at the end of the book? I wrote it. Did you write the music? It's a novel. You can't hear it. I could. What? What? No. <laughs> no. Sing it. Cool, KP. No way. Sing it. No, no. Please. Okay, oh, yeah, see, the dialogue would be Sing a little more uh, human-like if there weren't such it. big gaps in between them. But you know what, whatever. Hmm. Sure, you're a great singer. You have a beautiful Why did voice. Why does it look soft, I'm sure you're a great singer. I don't know. The itch in me hates all that I am. The bitch in you. Bro, they've censored the word bitch. The subtitles say wretch. That's cringe. But when we are together, hate each other. Billy Eilish. <laughs> That's the reason why we will never part. This kind of awkward, dude. 
It's so always awkward when someone thinks for you. Is how itchy we are. Hey, that was good. And woman oh no, she's going. She's going. Cause on. you need. Do you have to do this? She's like half my age. No. Cause darling, you need <gasps> no help with that. But <laughs> yeah, it's so fucking funny. Why are they censoring the swears? Destroy your life. Or in your case, to see how I wreck mine. What a waste it'd be if we didn't team up. Which goes to show just how bitchy we are. Uh, some shitty lyrics, my dude. Stick to writing books, not songs. And you stop singing to strangers whose houses you're camping out at because you broke your ankle and stealing their wine and scaring their poor cats. <sighs> I wonder if this is how the movie went as well, at least the beginning. Great, now I have to dance, bro. Come on. Oh, never mind, I'm just picking her up. Can we throw her off the balcony, please? That'd be so funny if that was an option. You see, my trauma started years ago when I murdered a woman in my own house. Okay, very weird start to this love story. If anything, the girl is weirder than the guy. I mean, she broke her ankle, went to a random stranger's house and uh, decided to like, what, make out with them? Despite them being like 10 years older than they are. And stealing their wine? Come on. She just wants my money, doesn't she? No, you missed it? <laughs> yeah, you missed it, KP. I mean, if you're talking about what you think, what I think you're talking about, you definitely missed it. And then... Um, I don't think I need to go into detail. Yeah, please don't. It's kind of weird, champ. Uh, it's up to you. They're your memories. You decide. Okay. Um. No. I'd rather an Annihilation Titans. Morbid curiosity. Okay, let me check it out. But there's something I do want to know. Do you remember the date? I don't even know today's date. Our brain gathers much more information than we think. Look here. No, no, no. Determine the exact date. You me? Please. <laughs> I thought Robert would hire a real professional. Okay. Mm. How do you plan on getting out of this bed? <laughs> so let's go back to that day. You wrote a novel a while back. But you've been suffering writer's block for years. Oh, nice for hypnotizing him. You look through your oh, office shit. window. No. Leaves dancing. I pressed the, the wrong wind. button. Birds sing up in the sky. Okay, it's still worked. Good. There's a mug in your hands. A warm feeling. A comforting scent. You look at a flock of birds and suddenly, an idea. Your cat interrupts you, begging for food. And when you go feed it... Oh no... There's someone at the door. There's someone at the door. Close your eyes, chat. You're gonna get hypnotized. You want to pay me all your money. Subscribe. Gift subs. Okay, so we're going back to the day. We have to find a verifiable fact about this woman's existence. Which is kind of hard considering apparently she is 13 when I wrote the first book, which is weird. Showed up in the middle of the woods to my murder cabin house and then decided to sleep with me after like 8 hours of knowing me. Without even knowing if I was in fact a murder cabin murderer. 
living in a murder cabin. So yeah, I'd say pretty far-fetched. Anyway, I googled Planetary Annihilation Titans. Looks like it's a real-time strategy game, which I'm not very fond of as a genre, but you know what, I'll watch some reviews and get it if I think it's something I like. Cool? Come on bro, load! Load. Gotta say the music is like ominous on itself, but the fucking uncanny valley gaps between lines is what's really creeping me out. <laughs> the review was right about the voice acting being a hit or miss in some certain scenes, but hopefully, if the review was also right about the plot being really good. So let's see. Wow! Wow! Oh, Kitty. Coming, Samuel. Please open the door. Bro, look at his legs. Holy shit. He definitely skips leg day. I mean his calves are fine, but look at the structure of the entire thing. Hi. KP. Uh, hi? KP, do you want to tell chat why you decided to it type hurts. that out? If you could bring me some ice. KP, would you like to clarify? Mm. Hand me your phone and I'll charge it for you. Ah, yes. It's the no best problem. interaction of At this all. entire game. I left my car outside the force park entrance. Okay. I'll go over there and let you be once the swelling goes down. Alright? <laughs> he looks so done with it. Uh, that shrug. <laughs> that was such an awkward interaction. I don't know why it was like that. I feel like they could have spent a little more time. Uh... KP... <laughs> You might, you might have managed to clear the chat, but the word will be up. I will clip it. People will know what you said. I will make sure of that. Once on the internet, always on the internet. Omega Lord, yeah. What did he say? Uh, hit that clip button, Parry, and... Uh, you can see for yourself. <laughs> Monkai's clippers, yep. Bro, this fucking. Isn't the ambient sound like making you uneasy? I guess that's the point of it, but uh. Oh, okay. So I have to analyze. It's like the cyberpunk sequences, <laughs> detective sequences. Analyze, let's go. Oh, fuck yeah, hypnosis scene. This is exactly how memories work. Your subconscious is just a shirtless version of yourself looking at wine bottles. Do you like to drink? Wine, never on my own. Why? People like me better that way. <laughs> KP, you gotta stop saying questionable things in chat, dude. Oh, it's getting a little out of hand now. Windows open. Can I not do anything with that information? I guess not. Um, I look through the windows and there's no one there. What else can I do? Can I do what KP wants me to do? KP. <laughs> 
You mentioned a certain Samuel. He lives a five minute drive away, across the forest, with his wife. The one who bakes apple pies? Why is the typist Sean sound so sexual? Actually, see, if you think that you the therapist sounds sexual, pet. then that it's is of your own lord. For Petronius. He'll go missing. El Kim can't give head. Oh boy. Wait, can I not analyze more of this scene? Never mind, fuck it. Okay, let's see. Can we maybe uh, see the time in her? Chat agrees, bro. Chat is literally three degenerates. It's you, KP, and Parry. I don't think chat agreeing holds much credibility in itself. You're all degens. Okay, nice. We can look at her feet. <laughs> KP, KP, get the clip button ready. <laughs> How did she do it? I haven't asked her yet. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, maybe you should ask her how she broke her ankle and ended up at your place. Instead of like taking her straight to have sex with Clipped easy. <laughs> Car key. Let's see. It's clipping through her hand. Very nice. Yeah, I guess I'm done. Easy. I'm a little bit of a professional hypnosis uh, analyzer myself. I don't like to brag, but um, I did look at someone's feet in my subconscious hypnotized state. So I think that puts me pretty high on the rankings of hypnosis analyzers. I don't know what I'm saying. Relive? Nah, I'm. I don't want to relive that. Okay. Cool. Let's go to the next memory. Seduction. Get ready, boys. This memory is called Seduction. You might want to keep your eyes open, your ears open. That doesn't make sense, but um... Keep you don't craig as them before something happens, we are literally at the loading screen, dude. Relax a little. Relax. You're being a little too enthusiastic about this right now. It's questionable behavior. Very questionable behavior. Consider it my way of saying. Oh wait, we already did this. So I have to relive it before I can analyze it. That sucks. Never mind, KP. It's the mm. same thing. Same I thing. Guessed. Nothing new. No new scenes for you to see. Oh, nice a clip. I'm gonna look at that. I later. just finished my degree. In psychology. Sag. Oh. Oof. Can I not fast forward through this? Like I've already seen it. I've played through it. I just wanna analyze some booba right now. When did she get changed into a shirt with no pants anyway? Like when she went to sleep she was wearing her clothes. Okay, these loading screens are annoying. Don't think I can stream the entire game. Not the best experience. It is very unfortunate. I'm gonna play it because I've heard 
the story is great but uh, let's see about streaming I'm not sure I honestly did expected a better or a smoother experience not sure what went wrong that's okay though we have a lot of other games lined up GBA games? We'll see, we'll see. What kind of GBA games? Don't say Pokemon. Because everyone has Pokemon. Give me something good. Ah, yes. Ubisoft Animus sequence. Let's go. Oh, do we get to analyze? Why are you so put off by the, psychology? The, if it weren't for my aunt. I'd be dead right now. Explain? Yeah, explain yourself. The fuck? Can I not? She asked me for the date, right? Can I not see the date on my laptop? You'd had writer's block for years. How did it feel to write again? Hopeful, scary. Will you keep the idea going? We'll see. Okay, so that was the secondary content that I've analyzed. The couch. I never did sit on the couch. You bought it at an auction, right? Who had it belong to? How does she the know that? The first American flapper, as F. Scott put it. Zelda Fitzgerald? And her husband? I'm sure you know they both ended up in psychiatric treatment. He was an alcoholic. He had died of tuberculosis. She had schizophrenia. And died in a fire at the insane asylum. Yikes. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, some RPGs and platformers? Nice. Like what, Kippy? Give me some names. Maybe I'll try them all. Okay, what else can I analyze here? Maybe the bookshelf behind me? Or... The wrong way. Oh, right. The phone. I must say the date and time on here. Is your here. cell on, Ed? Yes. What's the date on the screen? 6th October. October 8th. Oh, 8th. Fire Emblem, Mega Man, Battle Beat Damon. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe I'll play them. Let me just get somewhere that I can save this and quit the game for tonight and we'll move on to something else. I also have a needy streamer overload which is supposed to be a pretty meta humor type of game so maybe we play that instead. Okay, end hypnosis, let's go. Legend of Zelda managed cap as well. Nice. I've never played a Zelda game, you know. Never really uh, got the earlier until I saw Breath of the Wild. And obviously Breath of the Wild is completely different from all the other games. But, uh, you know, I have a certain liking. I've usually not been very into uh, GBA games, apart from maybe the original Pokemon and all that. Imagine calling yourself a gamer and not playing Zelda. Imagine gatekeeping. There's nothing more cringe than that. Okay, so now that we've ended the hypnosis sequence, <coughs> How the fuck are you trying to ratio someone in a Twitch chat? <laughs> All good? I'll take party. <laughs> yep. <laughs> As I was saying, you have no idea how sorry I am that this didn't work out. Mm -hmm. 
I had to give it a try. So you did it. I'm cured. Yep, your pee pee's back. Mm -hmm. Still tiny though. I'm not going to cure you. You are. What's with the ominous music? She looks like she's gonna stab him in the throat. We'll continue this later. Get some rest? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Basically eccentric as fuck douchey writer with severe vertigo and possibly depression blames himself for the death of his presumably imaginary wife and dad. The and smile of the nurse that, that tore you from your mother's arms. Your first lover. Sleepless in an unknown house. In an unknown bed. Staring. At an unknown body. Okay, why is she talking in such a cryptic Spiders manner? Spiders lining up to dive into your empty mouth. That's right. All of your TV sets aching to be turned on again. The fuck, lady? Are you fine? A roach scratching its belly with the bristles of your toothbrush. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Who doesn't like a good tickle? And then... Lady, are you okay? You hear? Your eyes are literally coming out of your skull right now. Doctor! How long have you been here? I didn't mean to interrupt you. Ooh. Who's the poem by? Oh gosh. <laughs> what the fuck is this I game? like to come up with verses while I work. <laughs> oh, so then this is where Ed gets it from. Is that his Or mom? from my brother, his father. Oh, it's his It aunt. runs in the family. Where is his father? Hmm. Where did I put the sauce? Lady, stop dodging questions. Let's just give her the sauce. It's right there. Oh, it's right over there. I'll get oh, it. Oh, don't be silly. Well, look at her face. Tell me she hasn't murdered countless children in her lifetime. Come on, go ahead. Try and convince Eddie me. Eddie loves three bean chili. He used to ask me to make it all the time when he was little. Uh. Did you spend a lot of time together? Care to eat lunch with me? <laughs> she gives dodgy questions. I usually eat with Ed upstairs, but it's no big deal if he eats alone for once. Okay. See. Besides, I made enough chili to feed an army. You keep dodging questions, lady. See, I know the game's performing kind of shittily in terms of the stutters, but um, uh, you should eat with Ed. The story is getting. I appreciate it. Intriguing. But I think it would be better for Ed if you ate together. She looks like she birthed Jack the Ripper. Exactly. I think I might need a little fresh air to take a break and exactly. maybe uh, organize some of my notes. You should check out the dock. Plenty of sun at this time of day. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Anything to get far away from you. Please don't make me a sandwich. I don't want to eat whatever shit you're gonna put in there. What do you think about Ed? He's a little stubborn, isn't he? Will he walk soon? The fuck you mean if he'll walk soon? I'm not that kind of doctor. It's still too soon to venture a hypothesis. Well... I guess he should just focus on doing his exercises, right? What exercises? Ham, cheese, lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise? Um, I'm a vegan. Let's go with that. Let's be as yes, annoying as can possible. Can we hold the ham, cheese, and mayonnaise? See, KP, aren't you intrigued? See, this is why I wanted to play the game, because it's genuinely mysterious. Apparently, the plot is really well, good. If I was able to help him last time, I'm sure a doctor like you will manage. Help him with what exactly? Vertigo. Vertigo? Oh, let me tell you, Eddie was never afraid of heights as a child. No pirate captain ever is. Okay. You see that tree? The one with the deck chair? 
There used to be a little tree house in it. Ed would spend hours on end up there. My brother built it for him. Then Eddie turned it into his very own pirate ship. Okay. It was all he could talk about. Pirate this, pirate that. He was obsessed with pirates ever since I got him a book by Salgari. And with his love of pirates like the jig. came a love of reading too. Fatty, you're being very cringe. <laughs> and see, that's that where no the writing began. Mystery solved. I don't mean to pry, but... No, I definitely mean to play. Um, what are you leaving out here? Let's get straight into the sauce. What are you leaving out? Off you go oh then, my doctor. Oh fucking god. Okay, that is terrifying. Or you might not have time to eat your sandwich. Holy shit. Oh my god. Bruh. This aunt has definitely murdered countless people in her lifetime. What the fuck? Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, I know the... Uh, it's a little jittery and wanky. Uh, wonky. Not wanky. <laughs> wonky and all that. But uh, if you guys don't mind, I want to keep continuing with this game. Because it's getting interesting. It is. If not, I'll just play it off stream. That's okay too. It's up to you guys. There are only two of you though, so it's gonna have to be a uh, unanimous decision. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna get murdered here on this beach by that aunt. I think as soon as I eat that sandwich, I'm gonna start foaming at the mouth. And my intestines are gonna fucking liquefy and ooze out of my nostrils. The end. Good game. Let's see. What are these? Are these the chemicals she uses to dissolve her bodies and get rid of the evidence? Can I sit here? Or do I have to go out on the deck? I can sit here. Close. She's terribly composed for almost being murdered by an old lady. Don't eat the sandwich, come on. Don't eat the sandwich. Have you not watched a single murder mystery? Never eat the sandwich. Damn, she got her old, her old gamer setup. Got that iPad with the Apple Pencil one. I feel like someone's gonna appear in the foliage behind me. Ed is reluctant and even hostile towards therapy. Why? He's lying and he knows it. He's afraid of going crazy. He's keeping the truth from himself. Claire is manipulating him. I'd like to say Claire is manipulating him. Look at that bitch. But uh, I think he's just afraid of going crazy or some shit like that. Or uh, keeping the truth from himself. Uh, which one should I go for? I think afraid of going crazy. Uh, I don't know. Let's just say he's keeping the truth from himself. He's blocking out a certain memory, one he doesn't want to remember. Something too painful. Yes. Hmm. I've never seen such an intense case of vertigo before. He's a pussy. It's real, he's lying, it's real, but he's exaggerating. I don't know. I don't really know anything about it. I assume it's real. Something tells me that Ed isn't lying about that part of the story. Besides, the case reports were conclusive. Does she exist? Now that is a question. She might be a character from a novel. She exists. Dude, I don't want to make this conclusion right now. Hello? We barely know anything about her, or him for that matter. I don't think it's a playboy's delusions, but uh... I mean, he had some pretty clear details about it. Is she a character from a novel? 
Does she exist? Let's just say for now that she exists. There are too many details. Little things that somehow make sense. Faye exists. Or existed. What about that earlier Vertigo episode? And his parents? Something happened in his childhood. But Claire isn't going to tell Claire me. Isn't going to Maybe tell you Robert? Shit. She's going to murder you. Or Ed himself, if I can break through this wall he's put up. I'll have to give it a try. Okay. Am I going to get shot in the head by a sniper rifle now? Do I see a lens glint in the distance? A scope? Don't think I want to eat the sandwich, I'm going to be honest with you. Don't bite it yet. No, 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 no. You gotta check the inside, man. You always gotta check the inside. Here comes the fucking foam out of my mouth. Surely she doesn't survive the sandwich. Surely. After every everything they just showed us. Now she's checking the sandwich? What is she doing? Hmm. Okay, let's check my message. Wait, what are my objectives? Breathe and meditate. That's cringe. I don't want to breathe. Uh... Hmm... Sure, let's talk tonight, I guess. So, now I gotta call Robert and I believe Robert is the dude who um, called me in for this The number you are trying to reach is currently unavailable. Oh, great. Just what I needed. There's no reception. I'm out in the woods near a murder cabin with a murderer writer and his murderer aunt. Oh, now there's reception. From an unknown number. Hello? Who am I speaking to? Dr. Lomas? Who is this? Uh, it's Sheriff Reyes. Dr. Leonard gave me your number. How are you, Sheriff? Um, look, I don't want you to breach patient doctor confidentiality or anything, but... I mean, something comes up in your conversations with Miller. Is Ed under investigation? Is he the suspect of a crime? No, not exactly. If I understood correctly, Ed hasn't committed any crime. Well, we'll have to see about that. Okay. So, will you give me a hand? Why did the voice suddenly appear inside of my head? Um, we'll have to see. Yeah, I can't promise anything. I'm not in a position to make any promises. Mm-hmm. Well, I understand, Doctor. I would settle for anything at all. How about settle for this dick? Okay, I'm sorry. One guess. <laughs> yeah, it's getting, it's getting, uh, getting interesting. Kinda cringe, bro. Please don't talk to me about cringe, Barry. Also, KP, I just noticed you have the founder badge. That's really cool. Thank you again for that sub. Takes one to no one? Yeah, fair enough, Patty. I'll give you that. Fair enough. What are the criteria for a founder badge anyway? Does it only go to like the literal first subscriber or? I don't really know. I haven't looked into it. I just noticed that you have the founder badge instead of my uh, sub badge. Maybe someone Plus saw 10 something. 50. I guess it doesn't count for gifted I'm on subs. My way to his because Barry doesn't have it. The Franklin? Nick. Okay, this is the cop. You there? Sorry, I've got to go. 
but very few get it. Yeah. What is it this time, Adam? Tell me you saw my email with the slogan proposals. <laughs> yeah. Great stuff, kid. Ah, I'm not sure which one I like the best. I like the sixth one. Um... Yeah. Uh, that one was, uh... <laughs> Vote for Sheriff Reyes. The sneaky bastard who would have known there were only three slogans if he'd read the... Nice. Adam. Do I have to tell your aunt and uncle you have no respect for your elders? Why is his hair so shiny? I'm on my way. Look, if anyone Fucking asks, teaser. I was working on Saturday night, okay? Mm -hmm. I skipped the monthly dinner. Hello, Samuel. Did you know your nephew was a sneaky bastard? <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Hey. I'll check that out once I got a signal again, okay? Good, so now I guess we play as the cop. Who is apparently looking into Ed. Because there might have been a crime committed. It's getting interesting, I gotta say. Also, KP, you missed this because you joined later on in the stream. But uh, Theo appeared for a bit on stream. You might want to see that in the world. Was kind of cute. Gabby, can you do me a favor and run an ad break? I gotta go be. I'll be right back though. Actually, I could just do it from here, but I thought I'd let you exercise some mod rights. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna wait until it loads so that I don't uh, end up skipping. Uh, any important dialogue because I was taking a V. You can't run ads, fucking loser. That's okay, I'll do it myself. I just realized I gotta wait until it loads so that I don't end up um, missing out on the story. You recently ran an ad, really? I don't remember doing that. Did you do that? It's weird, it says so for me as well, but I don't remember running an ad. Did Barry do that? I'm confused. Maybe there was like a mandatory ad, like it ran by itself, a free roll or whatever. Because those happen if I don't run ads, like, uh, I don't know. No, wait, if I run ads, that disables pre rolls, but uh, pre rolls don't happen in the middle of stream and they don't affect the running ad. You know what? I don't know. That's some um, weird shit right there. Come on, game load. There we go. See, it worked. I just told told you to load, and it did. Can I pause? Yeah, cool. So, give me a minute, boys. I'll be right back.
Hello, 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 hello. I'm back. So, let's get back into the game. I'm not gonna be streaming for too much longer. Let's get to somewhere we can uh, safely save and exit without being a complete cliffhanger. And yeah, we'll see. Let's see how the story progresses. It's getting interesting, I will say. Okay, nice little barn. Move my cursor out of the way. There we go. So this is clearly um gameplay is clearly very telltale-esque gameplay. Art style as well I would say in some sense. Performance suboptimal. <laughs> really wish it wasn't like this. But uh what can you do, huh? Hold LT to make him move faster. Nah, let's not run. Guy looks old as fuck. Wouldn't wanna injure him, would I? Let's just walk to the door. Hello, anyone home? Why have curtains if you're gonna leave them half open and that's... They in the barn maybe? Hello? Okay, so do I um let's ask Adam. No signal? Adam? Are your aunt and uncle usually home at this time? Uh, my uncle's probably in the barn. If my aunt's not home, she's at the store. Okay. They're not answering, just go on in. Huh. Right. You want your uncle to accuse me of breaking and entering? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I see you know him. Hmm. Okay, to the barn I go, I guess. Haha, <laughs> look at him, Chuck. Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. Hello, Mr. Uncle. What's with the ominous music, dude? Fuck. Samuel! Are you there? It's me! Sheriff Riz! Okay, this is very ominous. Huh. Oh. Let's check in here. Horse. Can I ride the horse? Is the horse going to escape now because I opened the door? Is the horse dead? No. Oh, it's not dead, but it sure looks sad as fuck. Um, uh, it's shit all How over. How long have you been here like this? It's sad. It's living in its own piss and shit. That's very sad. Sad, yeah, that is sad. Why would you keep an animal like this? Yeah, let's give it water. Anything else I can check out? Oh, poor thing. That's messed up, man. Why would you do that to a horse? How do I feed it? What do I feed it? 
does it eat this shit? Can it eat a tractor? Uh, maybe there's grain in the silos? Huh? Hmm. Is this food? Carrot! Yeah, let's give it a carrot. Follow the pipe? Yeah, maybe. Let's give him a carrot first. Come on, Harsi. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, there. This pass you. Okay, let's give it some water now. Um, let's see. I can give him more carrots, I guess. Or I could look for water. Hmm. What pipe were you talking about? This one? I don't actually know. Oh, oh wait, tools. A green pipe. Oh, okay. Hmm. Not sure why I looked at the tools, but uh all right, the hose, you mean? Okay. Come on, drink up, boy. Thanks for that, Kippy. <laughs> El gusto es mío. Yeah, whatever that means. Uh, okay, horse saved. Now let's go kill the old man who was mistreating it. Anyone up here? How the fuck are you gonna have like six saddles for your horse and then not feed your horse? And have it living in its own shit? That is some depraved bullshit right there. Chainsaw? Oh no, he's a chainsaw murderer. Or he just cuts trees, but oh my god, he's a chainsaw murderer. Wait. Is there more to look at here? Yeah, there is. Adam, get to tell me why my assistant graduated with blue hair? <laughs> ah, no. I told my Aunt Esther to get rid of that picture. I made a bet with Marcelo. If I graduated before he finished his thesis, I had to do it. Where'd you find it? I'll tell you later. <laughs> so, so the nephew seems like sane. So why are the uncle and the aunt all mysterious? That is the question, isn't it? Okay, nice little... I'm afraid that if I uh, step up to look out of the window, Someone's gonna push me from behind and I'll fall to my death. Is that a rational fear to have? Absolutely. I'm never wrong. Let's see if there's anything higher up before I uh, look out the window. Actually, no. Okay. No fear. I'm gonna look out right now. That's it. I just look at it. Oh wait, I can uh, bring it in, I guess. I don't know why I'm doing this, but um, sure. Oh wait, I'm gonna hold it. My bad. What the fuck? Oh, it's just a glove. Thank God. I thought it was a severed hand or something, dude. Oh my god. Can you imagine? Okay, there's a glove on the straw bill. Manga is same? Yeah, man. Oh my god. Playing with reduced graphics <laughs> really made it look like a severed hand. Bruh, how fucking large is this barn? Probably costs more than the house. 
Huh. I'm hearing an in interaction sound, but I don't know what to do. Huh. Oh, there we go. There's a kill. Oh shit. Is there someone dead on the ceiling? My mind's just jumping to conclusions now ever, so ever since I saw the murderer aunt. I think that's uh, justified, don't you? Let's go to the roof. Please don't fall off and die, you've literally just been introduced to the story. Yeah, it's deeply unsettling this whole uh, atmosphere. Why am I looking at birds right now? I should be looking for the uncle. Is there some clue in the birds? There's the glove. Why is there one glove on the roof and one on the hay bale? At least it's not a dead body. Hmm. So I guess I make my way back down. The, the music just keeps ramping up. The fucking strings. It's very unsettling. It's very unsettling. Very, very unsettling. Anyone uh, hiding behind one of these uh, things, waiting to jump out and stab me? Perhaps? Ah look, Hussey's feeling better. No running for now. Get your strength back. Yep. No running okay, for now. Just repeating dialogue. Get your strength back. Let's go out of the creepy barn. Thank you very much. Cared for in days. Uh, and I don't think your uncle's taking very good care of him. Seriously? The old man is really losing it. Yep. You'll be here on time, right? Yeah, I guess. Uh, you better fill in for me, all right? Oh, never mind. I guess we're staying to investigate. Again? Sneaky bastard. Well. Things are taking an interesting and deeply unsettling turn, aren't they? So, I think I'm gonna stop here for now. And uh, we'll pick this up again tomorrow. I might stream for longer tomorrow. Oh, let's see. Uh, KB, just before I end though, I need to know. Is the frame rate and the choppiness making it too hard to watch? Because if it's a bad viewing experience, I won't stream it. I'll just play it on my uh, off stream. Barry says yes. Okay. Looks like shit. See, I'm not too concerned about graphics. Fuck the graphics. If you're a graphics purist, then you can find other streams that do that better. But it's about the experience. Actually, I'm starting to take uh, Paddy's opinions less and less seriously because he just sounds like an agitated, um, what do you call it? He just sounds agitated all the time. Not very, um, not very, uh, not very constructive in his feedback, is he? <laughs> Plot is carrying it hard, that's true. I want to see what happens. See, I'm obviously going to play it. I just want to know if you'd care to watch it.
well sorry about that i don't take it too personally parry see the thing about you is you're very opinionated and that's fine but you do sound very bitchy as of late not gonna lie very bitchy I think it's worth seeing where it goes with one more stream. Yeah, that's fair. Let's see. Tomorrow, let's see, stream this for maybe an hour if it's... Uh, you can tell me at the end of that hour if it's worth continuing or not. And then we'll play some other shit if it's not. Looks like shit though. Yeah, fine. Looks like shit. Anyway. Uh, that's pretty much it for today. And we will continue tomorrow. Let's see how long we can keep this going before the viewing experience is just not worth it anymore. And uh, it does look like shit. That is true. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Tonight, If this doesn't pan out, no worries. I have like three, four other games lined up that I can stream. And also react. Reaction stuff, obviously. KP uh, gave me some links on Discord th the other day that I can look at. I was yet to look at the whole uh, NFT video. I might just do that tomorrow, actually. A good two hours. So, yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens. I'll decide. I'll make a decision by tomorrow evening. For now, though, uh, thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching. And uh, although I know that it wasn't the best <laughs> viewing experience for all two of you, hopefully it'll be better uh, going on from here. And, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. See you, my dudes. Have a good night.